killed the radio star. Dead is dumb, the cash is and the Hug your kids, paid off home mortgage has replaced the BMW as the American status symbol of choice. You guys ever watched the uh, Dave Ramsey show or listen to it? No. Shut up. Well, that's how the beginning Man, goes. <laughs> All right, come on. God, it's dead. Not something Dave Ramsey would say. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Butt Stuff. I'm Ed. To my left, I have Jim. Hello. Ian. Yo. And DJ. How are you doing, everybody? And uh, we just watched Parasite, and we're going to do a little discussion here about it. We, we sure did. Yeah, we saw it at the Spectrum Theater. What a strange movie. I got to say, guys. A lot of reading. I liked it. Yeah. That was the longest book I've read in months. That movie that we just watched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> but, like, um, the only thing that I, I don't like about, like, movies like that is that I feel like a lot of times I was too focused on making sure I read every single word where I was, like, missing some of the action on the screen. Aside from that, I, yeah. I really liked it. But um, I think things fell apart, kind of, towards the end, at least for me, yeah. logistically. Yeah. What do you, what do you so, think? We, so we say we're like spoiling it? Just right, let's let's let's, let's, let's talk, talk about it. Hurt. Let's talk about it as long as we as long as we can without spoiling it. Let's see if we can do that, and then uh, when yeah, we're going I to, I like, kind of felt there was just some things I was like, you know, why did that go down like that? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, without trying to spoil it, like what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, what, yeah. <laughs> what a hard question to answer. <laughs> Okay, fuck it. Let's just spoil it. All right? So, we'll tell you when to come in. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Fuck it. Just don't listen to this if you haven't seen the movie yet. Exactly. We'll tell spoiler you. comes two and a half minutes in. Spo- spoiler <laughs> now. Um, I thought that they didn't, like, okay, aside from, I guess, Mr. Park must have been having an affair or something like that. I don't know what the fucking motive is. He kept asking if, like, you love her, right? He kept saying, you love her, right? Yeah, you're trying, like you're saying, why did he stab him at the yeah, end? Yeah, I didn't understand that either. I, oh, it just made no sense. Really. I think it was this, it was this, like he saw him, he smelled that guy that had been like living in his own house. And I think it was, I think so. It he was, got like super offended that they were saying he smelled bad and he killed him. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait no. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because I, because I, I, because what I thought, I was like, what other reason is it? Because then at the end, they were like, you know, rushing off to the hospital, and he starts to like hold his nose, and then that's when he stabbed him. Yeah, because he 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 smells <laughs> like he, he smells that dude that had been like living in his own house, and like I think it was just kind of a reaction to like the the comment he hears when he's under the table with his family, and then when he's like just driving home from the party, and I think he was just having like almost like one of those falling down moments where it was just like sh- things just keep piling up and getting shittier and shittier and then like he sees the guy like smell his own house and he's kind of put off by it and he was like fuck this guy yeah and it, like he yeah exactly he's like this motherfucker has this huge house and then he decides you know to just keep talking about how bad I smell over and over again I'm gonna stab him in the face cause it was him too cause he said that the car smelled like him so it was like you know you could smell him in the car so it wasn't just the guy who lived in his house it was he, definitely Mr. Kim it okay. was weird like he gave him the keys and then as soon as he gave him the keys he like holds his nose like he's like oh, I'm about to have to go in the car that smells like him mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> well, I still think there, there was something weird about how he kept saying you love her, right? Yeah, that was a little bit a little bit strange. But I, I mean, that's yeah, also, I kept not understanding that at the one part where you know he's about to do the thing, the Indian thing. I yeah, just had no guys, idea what he was like. The thing about. that pissed me off the most is they kept saying Indian, like hello, <laughs> Native yeah, American, Native American. I, you well, know, it's a it's a culture gap. <laughs> <laughs> that'll get there in like 20 years they'll be like no native <laughs> but like I don't know I I still think that there was more to it than just a smell because there was yeah. there was a lot like in there like maybe it's because like okay he's got this wonderful family and he's just not it's like a jealousy it. thing you know he's yeah. just like fuck this you know but just couldn't take it anymore another thing that yeah. pissed me off well not pissed me off but like 
fucking kid with the rock, bro. Dude, it's so metaphorical. I know. <laughs> it's so, it's so <laughs> metaphorical. <laughs> it was very metaphorical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like, as I was like watching this, I'm like, dude, what kind of fucking psycho like brings that to a kid's birthday party? Like, he's just bringing the rock. He's just like, oh, I cling to me. And like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, it's a fucking rock. Put it down. Like, I, it actually kind of, uh, I don't want to ruin it for Jim and DJ haven't seen Uncut Gems yet. I have not. All right. No. There, there is a, a theme between these two that is kind of similar. It's a geological thing. <laughs> Does it have to do have something to do with, with a rock? Gems? Gems? Yes, yes. I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not here to ruin two movies. Gems of the of the uncut variety. All right. <laughs> oh man! Come on, guys. <laughs> no, but um, there is like, like I thought I, the movie was fucking great. I mean, obviously, like, I loved it. Third, third act, it kind of, like, I don't know, the, the like, rising action and the climax, like, just kind of, for me, anyways, it just seemed, like, why why that, you know? Yeah. See, I disagree. I, I liked how it, how it, you know, kind of, like, came up to the end. Because it kind of, in the beginning, you really don't expect it to go in the direction that it goes. That's yeah. true. It's, yeah. it's a pretty big surprise when that guy gets out and starts stabbing people, and you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> It, this movie's for real. Yeah. It took me a while to get on board. Like, I was a little bit bored. I'm like, where is this going? Too, too much reading? Well, not even that. It was just kind of... I didn't understand what was happening. Like, what, yeah, the, I didn't the understand setup what the movie so was long. about. And then once they got into it, then then you understand why it's called Parasite. Because they're just, like, parasites off these this, like, family. And exactly. then it all well, makes sense. And then you're like, okay. Well, I got that. Like, invested after first that. First second in. <laughs> once I figured out that, like, okay, this guy's just going to go in there... And, like, I thought it was just going to be his story about how he's a parasite. And then, like, I mean, it is kind of just crazy. Like, I kept thinking of the cockroaches. <laughs> like, they, they are the fucking cockroaches. And then when, when his wife called him a cockroach, I actually thought he was mad. And I think he actually was mad. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. just kind of, like, caught himself because the kids were around or whatever. He was just like, okay, not this. but like Or not here, rather. But, like... There is something about uh, what was it Kim, right? Was that his real name or was that the the slave name he gave, like as a fake one? I th- I think that was the fake name. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. Wait, what do you mean a... slave name? Well, like his fake name because like they were kind of like going under like those fake aliases, like oh, Jessica. Okay, yeah, okay, gotcha. They were all related, but they couldn't say that they were related because then they would find out and be like, "Wait a second, you guys are all family." But they started to notice at the end when the daughter got stabbed, and he's you know, they're yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah. Take my kid to the hospital, and he's like, "No, like I gotta <laughs> save my daughter." Yeah, yeah, I got my own problems. You think that I smell bad? I'm not going to take your daughter to the hospital. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, that. bro. <laughs> and by the way, what happened to the dude in the beginning? Which dude? The dude who introduces him to the family. Who he's like, all right, I'm going to go oh, off he was to going university, abroad. and then I'm going to come back and date this chick, and then his friends just like, all right, yeah, totally. I'll go. I'll go watch your girl for you, and then just immediately goes to kiss her. Like. Ten minutes in, it's just like fuck that guy. Bro, I respect the game. How old was that girl anyway? And like, how old was he? Yeah, they said that she was a sophomore in high school. Like, kind of weird. He's like, exactly. I mean, that kid looked like he was. He dead ass day. He looks like whatever. Yeah, but then again, I don't know how old people are in school in Korea. Guys, I think it'd be like twenty six. Consent in Korea. Uh, That's a good question too. Maybe isn't that (laughs) what it is in Mexico? I think, I, I, think it's, I thought it was 14 in Mexico or something. It's pretty young. That's an interesting question. They get pretty kinky, too. We're going to bring up the fact. <laughs> oh, when, yeah. like, uh, Mr. Park and his, uh, his old lady are, like, on the couch. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. South Korea. That's that's another thing I learned from this movie. Uh, Korean women like their wow, nipples rubbed clockwise. <laughs> it's how 20, 20. Really? So okay, here. so it's very forbidden. In the Korea news. or Mexico? This is saying, uh, well, the first thing that comes up is saying 20. Let me see if I can really find something here. <laughs> I think it's Korea because it's, yo- it's definitely younger in Mexico. What age? All right. So do, do, do. 
research assistant Ian on the case here. Oh yeah, I should do searching. Yeah. searching. Well, I don't. I don't really want on my search history. What is the age of consent in South Korea? It's not. Well, I mean, dude, if you're gonna get mail order breads, you got to know these things. Yeah, exactly. Chill. I don't care. It's in context. I mean, we're are you gonna? About. Yeah, exactly. Are you gonna be taking any trips to, to South Korea soon? Depending on the search results. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You, they're like checking you out there. airport. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it is <laughs> younger. No, no, this thing right here says the age of consent. South Korea is 20 years, 20 years old. Okay, so their relationship extremely forbidden. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was Also, I mean, I think it's also just so forbidden. It's wild. more so forbidden not on an age thing, but he's probably an economic thing, too. Like, he could never date that girl. Yeah. He lives in a fucking sewer basement. Exactly. In a sewer basement. <laughs> Which is pretty much what it is. That was so disgusting when the black water was just shooting out of the toilet. Yo, that's one of my favorite scenes when she's just smoking the cigarette. <laughs> she, 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 I love that. She's just like, I gotta just sit there and stop this from happening. Let's use that as a segue. Like, what did, did you guys score the movies? Or score the movie, rather? So I did. So what are I mean, I, uh, I, need, I, should, have, I should have brought something to write what do down. What do five? So yeah, well, let's bring up, um, do you want to bring up all the yeah, individual yeah, yeah. Uh, so here, like categories? All and right. then we'll take our multiple our scores what? from there. Multiple yeah. categories. <laughs> well, I scored it on uh, story, acting, cinematography, uh, the score, and the climax. That's mm-hmm. what I did. And uh, I did each one out of five. And uh, I'll just run through mine quick. Story, I, I gave it like a 3.5. I just, maybe that's because I'm still feeling out the new like grading, mm-hmm. but I didn't want to. I didn't want to come in with the first one like too high. I thought it was a solid story. I think it did fall apart towards the end anyway for me. Like, like okay for me, the the part where he's just like oh you know I just go right back into the fucking house. I don't know. Oh, like, I love that. I love that too. I mean, it was obvious mm-hmm. from like the second they panned away. It was just like okay, but. <laughs> like I just didn't I didn't really get his motive behind doing that like everything could have kind of been fine maybe he like abandoned everything because he thought that he'd be found out since they got stabbed anyway but I thought that they could have like continued the con basically and I know that's like a fucked up way to think but like like when well, his daughter's dying I guess but I mean they say about like the the CCTV footage and stuff like that like it became a huge story and wherever so you know it'd be hard to get away with yeah I'm saying he, I, I don't necessarily like I don't think he had enough motive just being called stinky to kill the guy who's been oh, okay. rel- like they, they okay, really like took him in almost as like a, a family member and like the only thing is that they, they called him stinky <laughs> I mean, that's not the, the, yeah like they should have just like put up with it for what they were getting. You know what I mean? Like they can't. I mean, look at it. They their one house was all flooded. Like you know. Another thing too is like for when I look at Mr. Kim, I think like okay, his his motives and drives are like you know doing everything for his family and shit like that. At least that's what I perceived. And then by doing that kind of fucked everything up well like, he it, he sees his son like he just saw his whole family die like yeah. he just watched yeah, like because they right before he stabs him he sees that's a good the, point. the daughter with his son and he's covered in blood and then his his daughter just got stabbed in the heart so he's like okay i get the daughter thing for sure but like <laughs> dude you see homeboy when she's carrying him out that yeah. guy is gushing blood yeah, yeah I was waiting for the daughter to be like no please I have a wound there <laughs> he's all, no. how do you like survive a rock being like chucked on your dude, head that's, that's another thing and not like did you see become, like have like mental you know problems or, or well, yeah, he did have damage the, you know he had the laughing thing <laughs> that's true that's true yeah they I mean, didn't go, but then it like kind of went he away. became the joker yeah it that's was, just it went away after that he was like I'm gonna buy the I didn't get that either did he buy the house because it like looked like he did, no, but then think- it went back, and it was like it was like no, just kidding. It's a sad story. He didn't get it. No, I think he bought you the know? house. It was just he he couldn't do it yet because he didn't have the money. It was yeah. back to when he was a kid. Okay, that's what you know, I was kid. thinking too. Yeah. Okay, so what what would you guys all give it for story? Well, we'll, we'll keep going. So the rest of your all right <coughs> acting, like I I gave it like a solid three point eight because I think they all did really well. Again, still figuring out the the ranking here. Cinematography yep. at four. You know what I mean? A solid, solid movie. The the cuts were nice. The the tension was built nice. Everything was like pretty well executed. Score I gave it a three just because 
I could only think, and maybe this is like a, a culture or language barrier, I don't know, but there was only like two or three songs mm-hmm. that were like playing in the background. I think they could have done more with that. But like the, the actual like, um, like what they used to, I think it was strings, especially when the chick was playing the cello. I thought that was like very well done or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. And then uh, Climax, I gave it a 2.5 just because, again, like, like I don't know, I, I wanted... I wanted at least more reason to kill him. Mm-hmm. That's 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 what I I had for all those categories. I'd recommend the movie. I'd watch it again. But like uh, I don't know. I I think there, if if they just give me an affair, give me something to sink my teeth in. Mm-hmm. Something he just looked like a good dad who was busy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, 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 <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. He even fucked his wife. He went counterclockwise for her. He was a clockwise guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> he, he just looked like a, a caring dad. I mean, I, obviously, I could be wrong, but that's what I had. I'm going to pass it to Jim now. Yeah, I mean, they that is a good point. Like, the the family themselves did not seem, like, nefarious or villainous. Like, the, the poor family totally does kind of just, yeah. like... I was on, like, team on their team until they, like, fucked over the maid. You know, she didn't really do anything. That thought that was like super malicious. You know, the, the peaches. They, they. I wasn't on their side the second mm-hmm. she buried the the driver and didn't save him. Like, I, once I realized, like, oh, okay, this is a fucking systematic removal of all the help. I was just like, all right, kind of fuck them because you know. But then when you find out that like. You know what's going with the maids keeping in the basement and shit like that. Yeah, fuck her <laughs> too. <laughs> like fuck her too. Yeah. Yeah. But like yeah, a, that was a twist. You know, you didn't see that coming. I, was, I knew that. Like I didn't see that coming. When when they said she ate for two, I was just like, okay, something like that bitch is not eating oh, for two. Yeah. yeah when right, they said right, that, right. I was like, okay, well, she she's, was kind of chubby. I just so, thought, you know, <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. So yeah. I thought that uh, I oh, kind of just thought she was stealing the food, and I thought like that's I thought that she was like Clever. embezzling somewhere or something like that. But like it, it was definitely interesting. Anyway, I, well, th- well, I think for uh, so for like my my scoring of it, um, I would say that the story I'd probably give like a four to a four point five, <sighs> just because I had never. I think it was like a very original idea, and the whole. Kind of like what we were talking about before, like the whole setup, and you're kind of watching it. Like, I don't know where this is quite going, and I've never mm-hmm. quite like really seen something like this. And then I felt like the moment that the uh, that the old housekeeper comes back, you're kind of just like, oh, I see what's going on here. Like, this is a whole fucking slew of people playing this family. Um, I'd say for the acting, I'd give it like a three to a four, or like a 3 to a 3.5 it was good it wasn't like it didn't have like crazy dialogues or anything that was like monumental but I thought that the way all the characters were all the scenes it was never like oh this is bullshit uh what are Mm -hmm. the other things we got the score I'd say like a 2 I don't there was a couple of moments that I thought were kind of interesting but kind of like what Ed said it kind of lacked it like throughout the whole thing um am I missing one after the conclusion Oh, the cinematography. Yeah, I would give the cinematography also like a four. It was really well shot. And just for the final wrap-up, the conclusion, I'd give the conclusion like a four. I really liked the way that it kind of just ended in like this weird, like, blood stab. It was just very, like, unpredicted. Yes. Okay. Agreed. Having That just, like, reminded for me, like, okay... She was the little girl was still carrying this man out at the end. Like I kind of thought that they'd still keep like some kind of Romeo and Juliet like a taboo relationship going on after. That's kind of what I expected. I expected them to like at least reference something about her, and that's why I scored it a little bit lower than Jim did because I wanted that end to be tied up because supposedly it's this like incredible connection they have, and they didn't. He didn't even say, like, oh, okay, and she still does this. Like, when he was in the woods with the fucking binoculars, I thought it was for the girl. Mm-hmm. I did the lat, like, it took me, like, till I saw the Morris code being like, oh, his fucking, his papa's in there, you know? Well, they, they did, in the one scene, he is just looking out the window, and he, he like, seems disconnected, and she's just like, You're, what are you thinking about? And he's just like, I don't belong here. Like so, that kind of was foreshadowed. But I, I definitely agree with you that they didn't they didn't tie that 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 end up. 
Okay, another thing, too. He's bringing the rock downstairs. That's what gets him fucking literally rocked. So, like, <laughs> what did he want? He wanted to pass that rock on because that's, like... Okay, he wanted that family to have wealth and money drawn to their house and shit like that until it kind of, like, even it out. Like, you know? See, I thought, honestly, I thought he was going to use the rock to kill the people downstairs. Yeah, that's what I, I thought, thought that's too. why he was keeping it, bringing it down there, and then he drops it and gets it used on him. Well, how I thought what Ed thought about the rock that, like... Because I was thinking that throughout the whole movie, because they kept going back to the rock, and, the, you know, I mean, there's something special about this rock. It's so metaphorical. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. But the rock also ends up being, you know, it, it ends up being bad for them because they, they end up getting wealth and prosperity, but then their house floods and they end up in a gym. I mean, definitely for the one Hold kid, on. they like smash his brains in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's quite a curse. <laughs> so you, you think the kid was going down there to kill him with the rock? That's what I thought. That, I mean, I, yeah. why else would he be going down there? It was either one or the other. Like, that's the way I see it. it you know, it could have been that, but I see what he's saying, too, because I thought that at first. See, I thought that he felt for them. I thought that he felt guilt because he... I was sensitive. These like, people were basically the same situation as he was. Oh, for the people in the basement? Yeah. Oh, I interesting. I think I thought that he felt bad for them, and I thought that The Rock, as, like... It's a mitzvah to, like, pass it on. That's why that kid mm-hmm. passed it on. The Rock is is the family. And he was passing the... Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was just like, okay, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. No, that's a good way to... That, I never really thought of it, like... Well, I, like, I, I thought of The Rock like that, but I didn't think of him going down to, like... To pass on the rock. I honestly thought like he was going down there for nefarious reasons. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Interesting, though. Very interesting. Uh, Ian, where would you grade the movie? What was it? The story. Right. So the story, um, it's like a solid four. It takes a while to get into, but once you're invested in it, you're like, all right, I got to see how this ends. So the story is a solid four. What was it acting? One? Acting, I'd probably, I'd probably say like 2.5 just because... <laughs> Well, that's the thing too. It might be like a cultural thing, because like, are you racist? A, a, a lot of people are reading. <laughs> no, I just like I don't know. It just didn't seem like so. If some it was, of the things I just felt like I don't know. It did like far fetched or you know. If it was in English, you would have enjoyed it more, maybe. No, I just I mean it just depends <laughs> on the act. Like they're still the same actors. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What about um, where would you put like the cinematography of it? Like the shots, the cuts, the the cinema was really bing. good. That that's probably like a four point five for that. All the shots, the boom. They build a lot of suspense. The one part where the guy's like dragging on the floor, and the kid turns the light on, and you're like, oh shit, is he gonna get caught? And they're like, I love when they zoom in. Like you're like you hear him sliding. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. That's like shit. Another so thing really too good. is I, w- I waited. I thought for sure the kid was gonna like somehow expose them. I thought that was gonna be yeah. where. I thought he was gonna be able to see them under the table I, from the um, the TP. I thought, thought that the was the most. <laughs> I thought that was the most far fetched thing in the movie. How which, did he not see him? Yeah, it's just because like I mean, dude, if someone was under this table right now and there was like, someone walked in, you'd walk in and yeah. instantly be like, "There's someone under the table." <laughs> yeah, yeah, not let alone just a table with like four <laughs> legs. It wasn't like you know anything blocking them or like really covering them let alone sleep there the entire <laughs> night while there's an, a family under the table two oh, feet dude, also fuck you'd be like hey fuck it. i was like jeez <laughs> who are those people breathing under that table i was waiting for yeah. like the two of them to fuck like, right there too I, like, I, I thought that they were he was gonna get horny and start You're like, like a dad the family <laughs> <laughs> like, well with the daughters in right there <laughs> Well, dude, I don't know. This is this is like how my stupid head worked because they introduced earlier the fact that they would like, they it was hot for them to like do sexy things around these people. Yeah, what like, was she? She's like, buy me drugs, buy me drugs. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, I think I, th- I think she was just role playing. Yeah, they were they were role playing like Mr. Kim and or not Mr. Kim, the oh, first driver. Oh, that was, why he got so? He was pissed? like he was like go get I, the pants. That totally went over my head. No. I didn't know that. No. Yo, which I thought was really weird. Like, I feel like if I was with a girl and I was like, yo, go put on this other bitch's panties, that'd be really hot. That <laughs> I did would notice. instantly start a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Same here. Like, no. I did notice, though, that they did not do that. He just talked about it. He just said it. He just said it. It's she a mental thing. Yeah, hey, it, was, it, was, it was all like, yeah, go get those cheap, nasty panties. How, Buy how me long drugs. do you think it's going to be before there's Pornhub, Parasite, Porno videos. It's already uh, there. Maybe. Oh, they're already there. Spoofs. They've got to be. Yeah, you guys hear something crazy? It's a good side note. 
Pornhub's being sued right now for not having closed captioning. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. like, Dude, we need subtitles. You know? Exactly. Yeah, imagine. I don't know what's going on in those. <laughs> but Plot's imagine. Important, you know? this, this is literally how it happened. <laughs> Some deaf person was watching the porn. Didn't, didn't, couldn't get to there. <laughs> couldn't get to the place they needed to because they needed the dialogue. They, they kept seeing all these possible stepmothers well, dude, and stepparents. I mean, the mouths fucking, are moving. They wanted to hear about the stepparents fucking. <laughs> they were like, oh, so, like, they, for them. Well, they wanted to hear him saying, get those old panties. Sometimes Imagine. you want to know that dialogue. You want, you want that juicy. <laughs> and he, he ended up getting <laughs> so. Want that story about yeah. what's going on. Listen, there. if. <laughs> They're gonna be so pissed off once they get it. They're gonna like think about the mystery of it right now. <laughs> it's so awesome. Once they get it, they're like, "Yeah, fuck me, stepbrother." Like until stepmom gets home, like they're gonna be so disappointed once they fucking decipher that. But uh, where did we leave Dude, off? With those subtitles, I mean, that'll be a gift that keeps on giving for years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The the like the the stage directions that they'll have to put on there. Groaning. <laughs> Ian, what did what did what would you give it for a score just to get back to overall it? score? No, I mean like the audio, like like the sound, like the music, music, um, the music. Sound. I mean, there really, yeah, yeah, like you said earlier, there wasn't really any music, so probably like two, you know. What about the climax? Nice. <laughs> I get three point five. <laughs> it wasn't that great. It was okay, but. I was just, you know, it didn't make sense. Like, I wanted to make sense at the same time. It was dramatic, and it was like, oh, shit, this is going down. So it was a good climax, but it didn't make sense. Now, if it were your movie, how would it have climaxed? Nice. <laughs> nice. I don't know. He probably wouldn't have stabbed the guy, or it would have went some way that the family does seem, like, malicious. Because you're like, why? You don't even, you know... They're not. They seem like nice people, kind of. Like they're not <laughs> like mm-hmm. that fucked up. So, if they like changed it, so you know you're kind of rooting for them more, and then like it would make more sense that way. Would you say the climax was much like watching Pornhub with no sound? It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> not that great. I wish it made more sense. <laughs> exactly. Hold on. Imagine that movie with no subtitles right now. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been uh, a, yeah, a shot that would have been a much different movie. movie. We'd have to sue them. The, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the first half would just make no sense at all. They would just be working for this family. And you'd be like, There's so like, they all get jobs at this rich people's house? <laughs> I feel like the peach thing would be, we'd just be watching like, oh, so peach dust, that's what kills her. <laughs> what are they shaving those peaches for? <laughs> There's like a few times they say something in English, we'd be like, oh, we know that one, we know that word. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you, Jessica, hold on. do you think you'd still be able to come, though? <laughs> <laughs> With no subtitles? At that one part. I think I can make it happen. Ed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hold on, do you think we'd get that he started rubbing her nipples the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. With no subtitles. Oh, he's going counterclockwise. Oh, wow. Okay. The technique. <laughs> <laughs> that lady likes it clockwise. DJ, what, what about you? What are your scores? You know, Ed, I thought you'd never ask. Uh, what, <laughs> what, what was the first category? Story. All right, the story, I would definitely give a solid four. You know what? Actually, I'm going 4.5 here because... It goes in a direction you don't see coming. It definitely is a very unique story. It's not like a lot of movies you see these days. The the one thing that I really thought was out of the ordinary is you your weight, like. When the lady has someone downstairs, you keep waiting for someone to get, like, murdered or something really malicious to start happening, and they just hold that off and keep holding it off. And that's something, you know, it's kind of out of left field. It was weird, but it's also really good the way it progressed. It keeps you hooked. It was very intense. It was very, very stressed, but also funny, too. You know, there's definitely funny parts that went along with it you're kind of it was weird you're like what the hell is going on here through this movie so I definitely give the story uh, 4.5 uh, what about Nick, the acting the acting I would definitely give the acting um, you know I'd say probably a good 3.5 I think it was it was above average it was definitely solid acting you know there was you know people weren't over the top you know, it was pretty subtle. They all did a good job of, uh, they did a good job of portraying the family as, like, they're kind of pieces of shit. 
but they still also are, are like, you know, you kind of form a bond with them. Like, yeah. I was kind of rooting for them in a way. Because, like you said, you guys were like, you got off board when you realized they were trying to take over this people's house. But I was like, you know, that's kind of awesome. Like, what a good idea for, like, a poor family to just lie to everyone and get everyone jobs at these rich people's houses and just, like, ball out. Like, how can I do this? <laughs> like, honestly, I, th- I thought... The direction the movie was going in was they would just completely take over those people's lives and figure out a way to get them out of the house, and then they all just end up living in that rich people's that house cool. and gain their wealth. Another thing, too, that like these people were so easily manipulated and gullible, and I think that they really like could have played their hand better. I don't know. And... Yeah, that's true. That's why I like ranked it the way I did. But mm-hmm. cinematography now, DJ. Cinematography was excellent. There was, uh, you know, a lot of great scenes in there that were shot very well. Though one of the ones I liked a lot was uh, where he is right after he goes up and stabs the guy. He's walking down the steps and there's just you know, kind of quiet. The wind's blowing. It's a beautiful background, yeah. even though this massive horrific scene just happened. And everyone, he's just calmly walking down the steps. You see the peace in what he's just like that he like kind the of calm feels. after the storm. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So I would give that a definite four point five. Also, that no. was definitely yeah. excellent cinematography in that movie. Now, what about the score? Uh, the score, I actually thought the score was pretty good. Um, it was very subtle. You know, there wasn't a lot of memorable scenes. Um, like you guys were saying, like it kind of was lacking in parts, but I thought it, it did a very good job. Like in the scene when they're in the uh, in the car, and you can tell Mr. Kim is just stewing and pissed off, and before the birthday party, and you hear the music in the background is all like happy, like a birthday party, but you also hear the like. In the background, that's like tense that you know something's gonna happen and it's building up to something. So it's like they did a good job of portraying the the mood of the scene as compared with the like the tense the happiness with also the tenseness of what's going on. So I'd give that I'd give it a four myself. Finally, climax. Uh, the climax I thought was excellent. I, w- I would have given it a solid, uh, solid four point five. Uh, you don't see it coming. Um, it's very, you know, is is a very satisfying way to end the film. You know, I didn't leave there feeling like, oh, they didn't do this or didn't do that. Although I would like, that's why I wouldn't give it a solid five, is because they didn't tie the loose end with the girl and the boy and everything. But. Uh, I would say that I would give it a solid 4.5 overall. Um, Doing math on my calculator here. Giving it an average of... Hang on. Wait a second, guys. It's going to be intense. Divide by 5. 4.2. An overall 4.2 for this movie. Which that sound effect definitely made it sound less enthusiastic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, something about the <laughs> conclusion. Okay. Something about the conclusion too, which I felt like was a big part of it, was uh, in the moment when he's talking, when they're in the gym right before they're sleeping, and the son's talking about how the rocks like clinging to him, and the father explains that like the best plan is no plan. I kind of felt like. A lot of that was for the next scene when, like, because, like, right after when he's, like, talking with Mr. Kim behind the bush and he's, like, giving him the whole plan for what's going on. Mm -hmm. And, like, I feel like the dad's just, like, fuck this plan. Let's have no plan. And, like, everything is just, I don't know. I felt like that was, like, a very kind of critical thing about the movie. Yeah, and, like, the whole thing is, you know, they set up the plan, and then the crazy guy comes out and starts stabbing people, so the plan goes out the window. Metaphorical. Yeah, it it was very metaphorical, (laughs) I have to say. (laughs) 
Also, when we were just talking about when you were talking about cinematography, I thought you were going to mention the part well, when he gets knocked down and then his the, the blood's like running into the water. I thought that was, it kind of reminded me there's a scene in Fargo where like the, I, I forget what happened, I think someone gets shot on like a milkshake mm-hmm. and it's like the way the blood runs into the milkshake, it reminded me of that, it was very fucking cool. Yeah, when the blood runs into the nasty plum water. It, did you guys think that was disgusting when she was like, do you guys want some plum water with honey to calm your nerves? And then she goes out and gets this jar filled with like 20 year old disgusting plums that were discolored and floating in the water. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. But maybe, you're just, maybe, maybe you're just ignorant, DJ. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I've never had good plum water before, you know, the first uh, first alcoholic <laughs> beverage I had, uh, my buddy stole a thing of plum wine from uh, I think it was China and Epcot. Do they have a China and Epcot? I would imagine so. Was they like have this, all the countries. It was a little tiny, it was like no bigger than this mug and it was like a pop top thing of like plum wine. And it was like fucking plums. <laughs> 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 but I drank it. I didn't even want to drink it. I just wanted everybody to know how cool I was. Did you get ripped? No, not off the plum wine. <laughs> the plum wine. Later, later, my buddy blacked out. My buddy stole uh, a bottle of brandy. He stole a bottle of apple schnapps and then something else. And uh, we got pretty fucking toasty. It was, it was a fucking school bus. It was like a bus trip we took to Orlando. How and old like, were you? Twelve. And we, <laughs> we got like we got like half the kids like the kids younger than us, ironically enough, drunk on that thing. It was either twelve or thirteen. But uh, that's pretty rock and roll. Was, yeah, that was, was pretty was rock, really and rock and roll. There's a lot of stories that were made on that trip. But were, like, were you choking down the plum wine? <laughs> was it terrible? But you were pretending like no, it's good to seem awesome. I, I only took one sip out of the plum wine. That was somebody else's plunder, so... Was it good? I mean, it was decent, but there was a, there's, a, there's a plum pit in it, and that's what I thought of when I saw the fucking jar of all the plums. So I didn't really have time to think about how disgusting it was. I missed the blood going in there. I had no idea. I, I fucking somehow missed that because I was off daydreaming. That's the thing with the subtitles. You, like, you don't see all the scenes... If you're reading, I mean, with me anyway. <laughs> yeah. I'm like too busy reading that I look up and like whatever they were talking about, I'll be happy. He's like, what the fuck's going on in this movie? Exactly. Yeah, when you get the, the feeling of you misread something, you're like, wait, what the fuck did they just say? I th- it goes She's both ways. Like when they're talking sometimes and there's no subtitles, you can't tell what people are saying. I mean, obviously, if it's in another language, but like even in English, that happens. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I feel like I know Korean now. I feel like I can speak Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. No, uh, I'm kidding. But, like, I, I, I don't think... I think they did it well enough with the dialogue. Like, it wasn't, like, too hard to read. There was nothing really... I, yeah, I got the gist of it, at least every time. Yeah. They did it well. They timed it well with the movie. And, uh... Honestly, I might rather drink that blood than the plum wine. That's how bad the the plum juice. That's how bad it looked. DJ me. really taking a hard stance against the plum <laughs> DJ, wine. DJ the, <laughs> it, it looks so gross. <laughs> DJ doesn't even know like what the person's blood is gonna have in it. <laughs> He's gonna be drinking like some some fucking <laughs> hepatitis blood or Pepsi and iron. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna taste like they boiled an old rag. <laughs> DJ <laughs> like an old radish. DJ yeah, like an old radish. <laughs> DJ would rather sit on blood on a toilet seat than pee on a toilet seat. That's what we're, that's what we're like. That's like where I'm drawing <laughs> parallels here. That's a uh, that's a strong leap to make. <laughs> I don't think I would say that that's true. Not, I think I would much rather pee all over a toilet seat than sit in blood on a toilet seat. Not pee. I'm, I'm sitting in pee. Oh, sit. In, okay. I was going to say, that was a blood. terrible analogy. <laughs> and we want to pick sitting in blood in a toilet seat over. Dude, you're... Okay, just, just so we're straight here. You're talking... You would rather drink a person's, a human being's blood instead of plum juice with some fucking old rotten plums in it. It's probably... Just because they look like testicles did, doesn't mean they're testicles, DJ. <laughs> did you see the plums? DJ. Yeah, they did look like testicles. Yeah. They look? Do you know how the fuck wine's made? It's just a bunch of shit rotting. It, look, listen, I got, I got blood pumping through my veins. I got blood all day. You're not it's drinking... Like, it's like, you know. You're not a fucking vampire, DJ. <laughs> You're not drinking your own blood, what's, though, right? What's, what's... Who's to say I haven't... Can we get a mirror in here? I want to, I want to check this guy. K, 
kidding, of course. I wouldn't. I I would probably drink the plum. I'm not even guaranteeing it, though. That's not even a guarantee. Like if you. So if you put. So take. Here's a scenario for you guys. You take the plum wine. And you pour a glass of it, but you put the the plum the the container that it was in that where you have the disgusting looking plums, but then you put also a glass of blood, but it's from like a really attractive yeah. person. But can we <laughs> put like? <laughs> Which one do you do? DJ. <laughs> Sometimes the prettiest people say the ugliest things. <laughs> No, but you would probably still. <laughs> well, I mean, how without, hot? How with, hot is she? With like a ten, a solid ten. I'm drinking the blood. <laughs> <laughs> with the, the, that's an interesting. Would that make a difference though? If the blood came from attractive, person I don't know. Or Jenny was person? pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Jenny was pretty hot. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Carefully. Yeah, I almost just spilled my coffee, ruining the entire knocked podcast. Up on my cafe still. Yeah, <laughs> I almost knocked over my two miles of blueberries mug. Well, this is pretty nice. It was going to be about like a disease or something. <laughs> so I, was thinking, I thought it was going to be a zombie movie. Yeah, yeah. When we went in there, that's I a was, good point. I thought it was really refreshing that it it, it wasn't though, because I, that's exactly what I thought too. I wanted like quarantine. You know. <laughs> That was the thing is like I, I like I heard someone try and explain to me the movie and I didn't understand the explanation and it wasn't about zombies. So that kind of piqued my interest of like I got to see this now. <laughs> like yeah. what is this? Yeah, so I I kind of thought that the tuberculosis thing was going to come back too. I was just like, oh, parasite tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She actually does have it. <laughs> that that's one of my favorite things when he's like squirting the hot sauce. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he, he, she, he's like, look, <laughs> yeah, he pulls it like, out. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. having tuberculosis wasn't enough. They <laughs> had to see the blood on the rag. Yeah, yeah exactly. They, and they, they were like, they these bitches, steaming, you know. <laughs> Dude, they're, Sneaks. they're brilliant, though. Like, I, I refuse to believe that that's, like, the first family they did that to. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, definitely. The so, kid, sorry, go ahead. No, sorry. Uh, so when is this going to manifest in real life and we try and do this to a rich family around here? <laughs> I thought we'd been doing this to my mom the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Parasite. Girl. That's the biggest plot twist of all time. We've been living this movie for 10 years. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just I, Since I have, we moved into this apartment. <laughs> I, I'm a parasite. I mean, I pay late, but I pay, goddammit. So we just gotta have your mom watch this movie now and be like, Mom, you gotta see this movie. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. This is more documentary. <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding. I, I love my mom and I pay my own fair way here, but I do love it here. Thank you, Mommy. She's a great lady. Great lady. I agree. You guys are fucking bears. <laughs> <laughs> I pay my bills. No, I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, just wanted, I wanted to be funny for the pod. But, uh, no, like... I don't know. I fucking. I kind of thought that the like the driver liked the guy more. You know what I mean? And maybe like the fucking. I, it just seemed extreme to be like, yeah, fuck you. Like, yeah, if anything, just that be guy like, had a sweet gig. He <laughs> be did, like they, chauffeur for this dude, nice ass car. Like, why another, fuck that up? Another thing that pissed me off. I'm glad you reminded me. They never show us how this money changes them. You know what I mean? The, like, the money in some way, like you know, like they never show how they spend this money and I wanted to see how they were going to spend this money I always just kind of thought that they'd like like that's another thing that pissed me off I thought that they would like the beauty of this family was that they were so unified they were all going to like take the money together and then buy their own house well they do show them spending the money it's just literally in the most mundane things that we do every day like when they're at the pizza place that they used to work for or like yeah, it's literally the pizza down. It's literally like just living a life because they had no money before. You wanted there to be like a 1980s style montage of them with like 
Hall of Notes playing in the background <laughs> where they get like a convertible and start it, like throwing money out the top. Yeah, of I just the picture like Dumb and Dumber when uh, Harry keeps walking out with the different suits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I couldn't tell how much time like had gone by. Like, if it, you know, was it a long time they were doing this? Was it like, you know, a couple weeks? Well, it, really it, it, it must have been a short amount of time, actually, now that you bring that up, because the guy was still fine down there. And yeah, like she would have yeah. came and checked on him earlier, right? If it was a long amount of time that had passed, and they mentioned too that the plan is like moving along really fast. When she's like, "I'm going to set the plant today," and the kids like, "Oh, we're already moving on with the plan." If I was this kid, uh, this kid's. I mean, I'm sorry. If this guy was my dad that did this, I'd be so pissed like that. I set all this up, and he just fucks it up by like stabbing the guy. Well, hold on. His well, daughter had already been stabbed in the heart. By yeah, that he's point. already That's smashed in the head with a rock, so he's like. Yeah, you gotta kind of take that into consideration. He's like a loose cannon at that point. As you were dying, you would be pissed off. Why he's playing? I would be like, "Oh, what the fuck, Dad!" <laughs> yeah, he could have so passing out, bleeding. That, this is this is Ian brings up one of the things that pissed me off a lot, and I didn't think about it until it actually happened because I so much happened since. But like, had he just stabbed the guy who, like, you know what I mean? Stabbed his daughter. Well, no, yeah, stabbed the, the crazy guy. Yeah. He if he if he'd done that, he would have been a hero. Like you know what I mean? And then they could have all done the same thing. They still could have mourned it off. More than the lost and moved on. You know? Well, also, too, you got to think about the idea of, like, his daughter never would have been stabbed if they didn't hatch this harebrained scheme and try and, like, do this to this guy. So in that moment, like, your daughter's dying and you look up and see this rich asshole holding his nose and you're like, my daughter never would have fucking died if you hadn't have... You know, if we had never met this you. This stupid plan. But that's, this stupid that's more plan. his son's fault than the guy's fault, though. Well, exactly. It, it definitely was his son's fault, but in the moment with the adrenaline running, you know, you stand up and you see this rich guy holding his nose, you're going to be like, fuck you, man. <laughs> fuck this guy. I feel like... I'm going to stab him in the heart. She was kind of a scummer, though, because she, like, made the mom think there was something wrong with the kid. It's like, oh, over here, he's got schizophrenia, if you could tell. Yo, I love, I love so, that. It was yeah. funny. The schizophrenia corner. Yeah. That's that, so funny. That was beautiful, though. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Because yeah. she, she needed that. She That was like, that was the dick swing she needed to get that job. Her reactions yeah. sometimes were over the top. Like, when she found out about that, she mm-hmm. just, like, gasped, like, super loud. I know people like that, though. That's why <laughs> it's like, it was Ooh. believable. Put her hand over her mouth. It's like my shrink. (laughs) (laughs) Talking to my mom. (laughs) Well, you see, in Ed's schizophrenia corner, a lot of action going on there. These shapes repeat. (laughs) Chill. I went in too close, bro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're, you're a therapist where you go in there and draw for an hour and just uh, give her the drawings and then she analyzes them. Did Did you guys know that was the same director as uh, Snowpiercer? What's Snowpiercer? I did not know that, but I knew that the dude's name was Bong. His, His na- first name is Bong. It is It is Bong, DJ. Very juvenile. <laughs> Do you think that's where they came up with the word Bond? This guy was really like a James Bond movie. Water pipes. <laughs> James, James Bond. James Bond. Did, did James you see Bond. Snowpiercer yet? <laughs> no, I don't know what that is. And, and you said you never no, saw it? No. Great movie. Yeah, it's an Great interesting movie. Chris Highly Evans? I'll watch it. it. has Chris Evans. It's about a, uh, a class system basically where uh, it gets too cold in the world, and then they put everybody on a train that's constantly moving. So there's like a class system that moves up the cars, so like all the rich people live towards the front of the train, and the poor people live towards the back. So this guy like fights his way all the way up to the front of the train. It's a pretty it's, good movie. It's a good it's a movie. Cool concept. Very metaphorical. Good, extremely <laughs> metaphorical. There's, the there are, got something there are people eating cockroaches in that movie. I would even venture to say there was a rock in one scene. I don't know which scene, but there's probably a rock on that train somewhere they, that was incredibly metaphorical. They do show mountains, and arguably those are just large rocks. There, yeah. <laughs> ah, metaphorical. So this is how metaphorical. Yeah. <laughs> Very metaphorical, man. That's going to sit with us for a long time. Everything's going to be very metaphorical from now on. (laughs) Now, like, can we talk about how fucked up that relationship with that kid was? That's what I I kept thinking of that. I was like, this is not right. It was kind of fucked up. He was just like, 
Yeah, I want you to keep her warm for me while I'm <laughs> abroad. <laughs> like, if anybody's gonna have her, I want he, to like, be. He like grabbed their wrist. I was like, I can tell by your heartbeat that you're like lying. I didn't even get that part. It was so made me uncomfortable, dude. And like, how come the mom? <laughs> how come the mom didn't say anything? Like this, this tutor, first day, like in right in front of you, just grabs your girl's wrist and is like. You and I. <laughs> his idea, his advice too was like, she got a question wrong, and he was like, "Listen, don't don't worry about getting questions wrong. You just gotta truck through this." <laughs> <laughs> what good advice is that? Well, hold on. That's, hey, your heart's racing. Going. Calm down. Just finish it as fast as you can. That's, maybe maybe she was right on twenty four, and he was saying, "Don't even go back and look because you're already right." Keep slashing through. Yeah, I mean, a lot like his dad. No point at all. Just no hack your way. <laughs> exactly. So metaphorical. Metaphorical. And so very metaphorical. <laughs> but like, realistically, if anybody watched that, they'd be like, like, how come her mom? Her mom wasn't just like. Okay, my daughter just literally wet the seat that she's sitting on, so <laughs> I think this, I think that this uh, this relationship with this twenty some odd year old tutor isn't gonna work out because you guys are pretty much eye fucking right in front of me. Yeah, exactly. You're not gonna hire a pedophile to come in and fuck your daughter. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was just like the beginning of the porno. You know, get the subtitles. Yeah, it was it was strategic. They they made that so they could branch it off into a porno or like you know mom was just like pimping out her daughter to like the best English teacher in the land or so she thought <laughs> you know, it could be in, in the real world it was just a sex predator <laughs> some guy was just like hey I got this high schooler this 10th grader he's like oh I'm all over it yeah let's be real for a second too that that boy definitely had a boner for his teacher the, the little one uh, what was his name Oh, uh, uh, Da Song. Da Song definitely had a boner for her. What was her name? Jennifer, Jessica? Jessica. Jessica. Fucking Jessica. Jessica. Which that would be a great rapper name, Da Song. <laughs> when, when that kid was sitting in <laughs> her lap, like painting, I'm just like thinking, like, this kid's, this kid's definitely. <laughs> this kid's gonna join her. You ever, you ever he's, have he's, like he's one got of, a bone. You ever have one of those counselors like growing up that like liked you? Like not like you know No, I never fucked one of my counselors. Neither did I. <laughs> but like there's definitely ones where you think about it. Like you're like, oh let's just Yeah, I used to have this high ass tutor when I was little for math. Exactly. Was her name Miss Cook? Nah. Alright. That's even a hot name. Miss Cook? Miss Cook. <laughs> Miss Cook, Cook if you're watching us. <laughs> sucks because you're like you can't even learn. You're just like, oh, don't be a pussy. <laughs> you're just drawing boobs the whole time, pretending like you're working on, on I questions. I mean, like, you know, then your parents are like, why are you not getting better? How do you tell them? Like, yeah, my teacher's hot as fuck. I can't concentrate. Are you serious, Mom? <laughs> Look at her. Dude, I, I There's would... no way I'm going to study with that sitting right next to me. Are you kidding me? I can't learn about George Washington right now. You know what it is? <laughs> I think... I think the setting, like, fucks you up because there's not, like, let's say there's not a lot of, like, hot teachers. So, like, everybody's always got their hot teacher pick out of, like, all the ones they go to. You know what I mean? And sometimes, like, you go in there and it's, it's just, like, one of those things where it's just, like, <laughs> you're not going to learn shit. But, like, you're, like, oh, you're, like, so blessed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck trick. <laughs> fuck trick. <laughs> Dude, I, like, I, like, as a kid would convince myself, like, yeah, she's wearing those for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, this one time, like, Jerry was in one of my classes, and, like, um, I told Jerry, like, I was like, yo, like, Mrs. Blank, <laughs> she's, she's got it out for me, watch, I'm gonna spit my game, and I just, like, said something, like, sly as fuck, <laughs> and, like, fucking... <laughs> I was just like, yo, watch this. And I said it, and I complimented her, and she was like, oh, it's so sweet. And she, like, responded and, like, flirted, flirted a little bit back. And, like, I, I was like, Jay was like, holy shit, are you going to fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> You're so close to being a, a national known story, putting that woman in jail for years. Nation, nationwide <laughs> known legend, Ed Coulson, <laughs> hooked up with hot teacher. 
pulls the fire alarm on the way out of school. <laughs> there, yeah, there's that one lady from CBA who's banging all the students. Oh, that was, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I knew somebody that like knew the guy, and he's just like, yeah, he just brags about it all the time. Like, yeah, he's which, was she hot? She's in jail. Oh, she was so hot. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I, I think she was. I it's mean, like a personality trait. He's like, I fucked my teacher. Yeah. <laughs> First thing is, ah, you know, I fucked my teacher. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, my accomplishments? No, you no. put that on your job resume. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Going for an interview. <laughs> he definitely made things that, uh, at that school a little bit weird. I went to one of the graduations there. CBA. And, yeah, and there was like one rule, like you couldn't bring it up. It was like the year following it, and it was like it was something that like I joked about, like because like I I mean, let's just say this: you shouldn't joke about it. <laughs> I mean, there probably is a person in jail somewhere. No, 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 no. no. I mean, we we can joke about it, but like at that time, I'm gonna joke about it. Yeah. Enough time has passed, but like at that school, like imagine, like okay, a kid went to that school. And his mom worked at that school, and <laughs> like imagine, like oh, you got the kid went to, and his mom worked there, and she yeah. banged the kid. Oof, mm. big oofs. And she didn't bang him. <laughs> that even well, no, that more. that genre of porn wasn't popular yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it a stepmom? No. Oh. Now this was like 2013. So, <laughs> real mom? That's just weird. Yeah, it's got to be dot, 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 dot. As everyone processes and thinks, that's not that weird. <laughs> well, if Freud was here. <laughs> you, ever, you ever read Oedipus? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> no, but... Like, uh... <laughs> there's the... Where were we? <laughs> I had, speaking of CBA, supposedly, this was war... There was a, a big, like, presentation that they were doing, and this one, like, sophisticated, like, hacker kid, like, somehow hacked it to put, like, porn <laughs> up on the projector when they, were doing, <laughs> when they were doing, like, a presentation or something like that, and then, like, made it so they couldn't, like, cancel out of it. <laughs> That's awesome. Who was the kid that we knew that stole all the computers from his school, and he was, like, he had them all in his room, oh, and it was, like, name? right before he was about to sell them all, his mom walked in, and his mom worked at the school and she knew they were missing all these computers and she just saw them all over her son's room. Was it Brett? That's insane. Was his name Brett? Who the fuck is Brett? Brett? I want to say Brett, Brett Swanson. Was his name Brett? Wait. Uh, Something it like was that? Brett Swanson. He looked like fucking Thor. He worked at Domino's. Yeah, he looked like skinny Thor. It, Thor you, if he wait. was trying to be in the Joker so he just started starving himself and losing all kinds uh, yeah, of weight. He kind of looked like James Woods. Wait, you guys yeah. You guys hired a bass player from one computer? computer. <laughs> No computer thief. Well, he didn't say so until. Yeah, that wasn't in the interview. He wasn't Um, like, oh yeah, I love stealing computers. I I thought it was like monitors here. In addition to fucking my teachers, I also stole all my (laughs) computers. I'm I'm a criminal mastermind. (laughs) I like to think they were like those big green Macs. Yeah, that's exactly right. (laughs) See through. Yeah. There was this uh, Macintosh. This, uh, I used to I used to prank phone call like administration folks at CBA <laughs> because I didn't go to that school and like I knew people who did so I would like prank phone call them and like say that I was that kid and like <laughs> and I'd be like hey this is Ryan Fox <laughs> like, prank phone call people as that kid Ryan if you're out there I'm sorry <laughs> but he got in a lot of trouble for it and. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, a like, like a lot of trouble because I'd be like that's so funny I would be like Sergeant Blank like your daughter's so hot I wanna fuck her <laughs> oh man like, like dude <laughs> so fucked up what I did he, so he sounded like a little old lady from New Jersey but like in my defense no, you, you, your daughter's so hot <laughs> well, oh your daughter's boobies fuck. well no this is, this, is, this is what it was he was in, he was present when I did it and like I like kind of had him. I was, it was like a chicken thing. Like, oh, I'll fucking do this all day. I got no dog in this race. And there's like a crowd of people, and we were all just like cracking up so hard. So like, it just became a thing that I I like ran with, and like. It, 
It's Sick. not like you don't think of it as bullying because he's like right there. And he's like he's, he thinks it's hilarious too because he'll just be like, "That's not me, obviously." Like you know what I mean? I, would, I don't sound like that, but they thought it was him. <laughs> yeah, they like, knew he was involved. <laughs> could you see his face like laughing and thinking it's funny, and then all of a sudden you said something and just get like the look of like, "What do, uh, shit, <laughs> dude?" Okay, so no, I'm, I'm going trouble. to jail for this. So like when he got in trouble about it. <laughs> He must. He definitely sailed me up the river so hard. You know what I mean? Like I, I get it. But like his dad, like <laughs> he's, out of this, he's out of this jurisdiction. CBA administration. Everybody knew that I had done it. And like this was like Season companies that I was around like regularly. You know what I mean? So like his dad at one point like fucking yoked me up. Like later Oof. on, like yeah, his dad. I mean, <laughs> he was like, Jesus. Eddie, what the fuck? Like, shaking me and shit like that. He was a cop, so, like... Oh, know. yeah, so he was what above the law. That makes sense. No, like, uh, there was uh, something else, like, <laughs> Ryan had pricked himself with a knife, and they thought that I had done it. <laughs> the <laughs> they, cops. Cops were called, everybody... This happened in Florida. Uh, like everybody was called and it was like this thing because we had all bought butterfly knives and we were all playing with them you know what I mean and I like stabbed one of these little like plastic cups that they had in the hotel room and like was like playing with it and like motioning it around and like was gonna do that and then like he was just like no I'll do it and then he fucking did it and the cup like bent and then like I don't know like exactly what happened from there, but like he walked out into the hotel lobby and like they called nine one one because he had like a prick. He <laughs> looked like he'd been stabbed. Well, he was playing with a butterfly knife, but he pricked himself with it in like the perfect place so that like it, it looked like a stab wound. And I remember like <laughs> Like, at the time that this happened, like, we, we were all like, what the fuck do we do? Like, we knew that they had called 911. <laughs> well, no, we weren't, we weren't hammered at all. We had just, it was the first night we got there. We had just gotten butterfly knives, and we were just all playing with them. And I remember, like, fuck, it's my knife. Like, I got to wash the blood off. <laughs> like, you know, I, I got to clean the prints. I to, like, cover it up. Well, no, 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 no. I, I, <laughs> no, 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 no. How this, old were you? This is what happened. It was, okay. It was my knife. There was blood on it. Everybody knew it was my knife. We had been showing it off. I was fucking 12 or 13. And then, like, I mean, thank God, like, Ryan obviously wasn't going to let me fucking go to jail for this shit. But the cops came. They interviewed everybody. Everybody said the same story because that's what happened. But, like, before this all happened, like... I remember, like, my buddy was there, and he was just like, yo, we got to, like, hide the shit. Like, <laughs> and, like, we did that, and then, like, somebody from CBA, very nice gentleman, knocked on the door. He was just like, tell me what happened. And he was just like, give me the knives. And then we gave him, like, all the knives. And I remember, like, my friends were all pissed because, like, I, <laughs> I fucked everything up and, like, got everybody's knives taken. But, like... The kid's dad yoked me up and fucking, like, literally thought that I stabbed him. Like, his kid couldn't be that stupid, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, like, like, I get it, you know, but he referenced the, the prank phone calls that I was making. was <laughs> not that dumb. You stabbed him. I know you've been making false phone calls, Ed. I mean, it probably... Yeah, he just... He just <laughs> it probably... <laughs> It doesn't look Dude, good it, when there's. It a looks like I, I bullied this kid and then stabbed him. Exactly. <laughs> to everybody like, but like the people in that room, like you know what I mean. It, it was not a good look. It was awkward. We had to hang out at like fuck. We had to go to like Walt Disney World the next day and like <laughs> pretend that that shit didn't happen. And like it, like we were joking about it by the end of it, but like I thought my life was over. Was that your last field trip with those people? I don't remember. I did it twice. I don't remember if it was the first or the second time that it happened. But I, so they brought you along to go to Disney World or what happened? Something like that. I, I feel like you weren't invited again after I, that. I, you, probably yeah. not. I, I don't think I would have gone. Maybe that was the second time. I don't know that I ever told my mom that story either. <laughs> they bring well, she'll hear it on the podcast. Exactly. Yeah, I know. But, yeah. like, I mean, it's not like I did anything. It's just, like, fucking one of the things. Like, thinking about it now, I can't believe I haven't thought about it in so long. Before he, they brought you down there, did that guy already know you were making those calls to CBA? Oh, he, he was in the room when I was making the calls. I'm saying the dad, though. Oh, yeah. His his son sold me up the river right away. <laughs> so it's not like he was, this, he was just like, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, so I'm... <laughs> with this kid. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. We bring this kid on a field trip, and then all of a sudden, twelve-year-olds are getting shit-faced on plum wine, st- getting well, yeah, stabbed with you? butterfly knives. Listen, every kid on that trip. I mean, statute of limitations. Hopefully, they're not gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> but we all got drunk, and like, even like, it was just one of those things. 
Like, looking back, it was like a fucking crime wave. Like, all the kids were just stealing everything from gift shops and, like, Epcot and shit like that. Like, literally, I watched this one kid steal, like, some, like, souvenir from the gift shop and then just throw it out, like, immediately. <laughs> right, at, right as he got outside. Just for fun? Yeah, yeah, just, just like, to be like, yeah, watch you steal the shit and break it. I mean, <laughs> anybody ever go through a klepto phase in here, statistically speaking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I uh, I went through a phase where there's this uh, this um, this uh, strip mall in East Greenbush, where there's a dollar store where they would put all kinds <laughs> of stuff out like on like the curb. So it was just tradition. Me and my friends made a tradition to go there and get stuff from there for like everybody's birthday. So like you can just be like. I got you this plastic sword from the dollar store for your birthday, Matt. How do you like it? And he's like, why would you give me a plastic sword? We stole it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's awesome then. Dude, I, I the, the place that I remember stealing from, like, I was drunk with Ben Falk at uh, Latham Circle Mall, and there was a dollar store in there. And I remember, like, I was just gonna, I'm like, I'm just gonna steal a shot glass, and we can, we don't have to swig from the bottle, we can, like, regulate this. And I stole a shot glass, and the second that I walked outside, there was a fucking cop car. And then, like, so I saw the cop car, I just hopped on my bike, and fucking biked all the way to Bell and Appley, like, <laughs> hit my bike, threw the fucking thing out, and then fucking, like, like, Ben had been calling me the entire time, but, like, I had, like, fucking... I was, like, drunk, too. I was, like, fucking 14. He's, like, like got caught. I thought that. Like, I was just, like... I thought it was a trap or something like that. Ben, yeah, like, I ben, need you to come back, buddy. Finally, I answered the phone, and he was just like, yeah, dude, just come back. And I'm like, oh, fuck, man, fuck. And then, like, <laughs> I get back there, and he's just like, oh, dude, they're just here for, like, a missing kid or something. <laughs> and, like, so that's when I was just like... What? <laughs> Someone's missing? I, I think they found him, but... <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah. But, like, Ooh, no, I, I thought literally I was going to get nabbed for stealing a shot glass. When you think about it, like, it was just, like, I don't know, the universe being, like, see, this is what happens. Like, <laughs> You get two to five for this shit. Dude, I, I covered it up like it was a murder. Like, I just, like, broke the shot glass somewhere and fucking like, mm-hmm. just bolted away. Get rid of the evidence. And you know FM transmitters? Yeah. I used to go to Price Shopper all the time and, and like, just take those. Why? I, Why? You know, it was like a klepto thing. I just did it every time. <laughs> but but that guy's, I'm not giving it to people. Be like, you want one? For free. I don't know why. I got what a strange these. thing to steal. Yeah, it, it was. It was just a weird thing. I mean, I take other shit too, like drinks and shit, but I don't know why. It was just... It, that was it. I feel like I only really steal shit when I'm like drunk, and it's always just random shit that doesn't need to be stolen. Or mm-hmm. like, that's the way alcohol works. I took magnets from my friend's fridge one time. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, then I, but then, like, you know, it was like a joke, because then I took a picture of it at my house and sent it to him. And he called me an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I had I took this. my friend's plate. Toy Story 2 plate. That was fucked up. Whoa, that's fucking memorabilia, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a collector's That's item. worth money. <laughs> 35 grand right there. One day. I don't know that I've ever, like, intentionally stolen anything from my friends, but, like, if they leave shit here, <laughs> I'll fucking wear it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, we found that brown leather jacket. Still, no one knows who that is. Which brown leather jacket? There was that, a, you found a, a brown... No, I'm just kidding. I'm yeah, there was, a, like there, was there, was, there was a brown leather jacket. The, the inside had, like, a it had like a map or something on the inside of it. It was, re- it was uh, when we lived on this floor. And it sat there for like a month, and you asked me if it was mine. I thought it was yours, and then we thought it was Josh. Stitched into it? Like, the inlay was like a map. Hey guys, if anybody lost the brown leather jacket with the inlays, I believe it was a Wilson jacket. Wilson, yeah. uh, There's somebody, uh, somebody listening to this right now, freaking out, being like. It might not be Wilson, but I I thought it was a Wilson. So, if anyone out there missing a brown Wilson jacket, it's quite weathered. If anybody just looks good in leather and wants it, maybe just hit us up. <laughs> Can't get rid of some of this shit. No, I'm just kidding. But for real. I do look good in leather. Anyway, we did we did an hour on uh, about ten. Um, what? Well, for next week, uh, what movie should we? There's still Little Women. There's Give me something uh, to look forward to. There's Jojo Rabbit. Uh. Knives Out has good reviews. 
Uh, did those all get... We should see another Best Picture movie. When did the short films come out? The short films, I think, come out... They might actually come out next week. I'm that would be a way really down good to see one. Them. Do yeah. some shorties. Some shorties. Some little films. Little tinies. Chill. Little small <laughs> little And then small we can films. each... That one would be fun, too, because then we can each put in our cast for what we think the I'm best five, one six, would be. I'm 5'6", okay? Yeah. <laughs> Not little. <laughs> what? Uh, no, I'm saying like, because I think it's, I think it was, it was five shorts when I went, when me and Josh saw them last year. So we could uh, watch all five shorts and then each vote for what we think our favorite short was. We have to do an individual so. episode on all five, and then another episode after that to combine all five. No, and no, <laughs> and then a, a third, a third episode after the results come in, so Guys, we can talk shit about the results. The next two months of podcast is just going to be short films that we watched next week. I saw you rearing up, getting ready for. <laughs> no, I, I was, was just going to say fuck no. <laughs> We're going to do that all in one. That's that's okay too. Yeah. The only thing that's going to suck about it is, like, I feel like there's going to be a lot going on. It's going to be hard to remember specifics about each individual short, short film, like, you know? But uh, we'll give it a notes. Note. Yeah. 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 Just do it on your phone. That's what I did this time. This time, I, I wanted to That's why you couldn't it. pay attention. You're taking notes. You're looking times, up. <laughs> yeah. With this, because, yeah, the subtitles, if, you know, if you're not reading them, then you really don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. I was so. like so proud when I looked over and saw you doing that because the first time I was like Ian's fucking texting, <laughs> 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 and then like like I just like I was too like immersed or like I didn't want to look like I was texting or something like that. I just I couldn't bring myself to take the phone out. I did all my shit immediately after. Because the last time we did this, I didn't do that, and I you know when I was watching it, there was a bunch of points I wanted to bring up, and I you know by the time we got here, I kind of forgot them all. <laughs> So yeah. I was like, I'm not going to let that happen again. Yeah. Well, shit. Well, well gentlemen. We should, did, uh, we, should we do a vote for what we want to do next week? Quick. Uh, well, if, if shorts are out, I'm in for shorts. I, I thought it said the 31st. I could be wrong. So next week probably wouldn't be out. I don't, I, it might not be out next week. So my vote goes with shorts. If it's out, if it's not, I'm going Jojo Rabbit myself. Shorts, but... Uh, uh, I'm gonna say what's the what's the um, I don't know Little Women Little Women I'm gonna go with Little Women um, I don't really care because I don't really know what what's out or what anything's about Jojo Rabbit's the one with Hitler imaginary friend I think He's Jermaine's in that one from Flood of the Concords oh, or Jermaine. some some I'm attachment to it Little Women Little Women I have no idea that's Little what I, Women is like uh, I think it's like a romantic period piece about people in England. I thought it was people on the prairie. Or people on the prairie maybe being, it's like... It sounds really long and boring, but it it'll probably be fun of, to talk about it Downton, after. Downton Abbey. Fuck Downton Abbey. Almost. <laughs> I'd say that just because Which, I feel like the discussion afterwards exactly. would be really funny. So, uh, th- so we want to do a uh, uh, fucking... We need a women. tiebreaker then. Oh wait, no, excuse well, me. Sorry, 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 sorry. In the if is your vote going with little women, Ian? Yeah. Yo, if we see little women, I'm bringing in like a big thing of grain alcohol. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a, a movie to I'm party down. to. Yeah. Yeah, so so little women it is then. Yeah, alright. Alright, well we will see you next week. Yeah, Till next week. See you next Some, week. Uh, little women action. Alright. This is supposed to be cheesy. No, I'm just kidding. Oh!